Hey everybody, my name is Scott. I'm with the Arizona Hot Tub Factory and they call me the Spa Man. Today we're going to talk about what causes your spa to trip the breaker. So for argument's sake, we're going to, stick, we're going to say that the sub panel is wired correctly. And we're going to say that your main breaker is wired correctly. And the wires that are coming into the pack are wired correctly. So just for argument's sake, that stuff is correct. Okay, and with that, we're going to show you how to diagnose what is going on with your hot tub. Stick around. This video is going to take about three to five minutes to go through, and I hope you find it entertaining as well as educational. As always, before you work on or touch any hot tub, shut off the breaker. Okay, this is what they call a Balboa pack. Normally you'll have the wires coming in this side. You'll have your neutral over here, your hot wire, your hot wire, and your ground goes right here. When it keeps tripping the breaker, there's several things that can cause it. One is the heater. So what I normally do when I think it could be the heater, I'll disconnect these two lugs right here. This disconnects the heater from the system. Okay, the next thing I will do is I will come up here and I will, here, I'm gonna have to put this down for a second. I'll disconnect this right here. What this is, this is pump one. So what I'll do is I'll disconnect pump one. This right here is your ozone. I'll disconnect the ozone. Right here is your uh, pump two. I'll disconnect pump two. The next one is your light. I'll come here and I'll disconnect the light. So what I've done is I've disconnected all the things that historically have caused hot tubs to trip. Your heater is one of them. Pump one, your ozone, pump two, and your light. Generally speaking, it's not your light, but it's usually one of the other four. So by disconnecting all that stuff, I can uh, kind of diagnose what's going on. Okay, now that you have the breaker disconnected, everything's disconnected from the pack, you're gonna start right here. You're gonna reconnect your heater. Once you've got it reconnected, you're gonna go flip on your breaker. If the breaker trips, you know it's the heater. If the breaker does not trip, shut off the breaker and go on to pump one. Plug in pump one. If the breaker does not trip, go up to your uh, top side control and hit pump one and see if the pump comes on. If the pump does not come on, you could have a problem with the pump that is, will cause the breaker to trip. Generally speaking, if it doesn't trip right here, the pump will come on and then so on. You go on to uh, your ozone, you go on to your, um, your light, and you go on, you know, you just start, and you go on to your second pump, you just start plugging things back in to when you find something that you've plugged in or turned on and it trips the breaker. Okay, what I did is I went and got a couple more examples of what can cause the breaker to trip. If you look at this tube right here, which is similar to this one, it's got all this rust right here. Right here, it's got all this green buildup and stuff, all this calcium buildup. That will cause the heater to trip. Over here, if you look at that, you can see all that grime and all that crap. That will cause the heater to trip and stuff. If you look down the center of the tube, I don't know if we can see it really well, but usually you can see calcium buildup on the heater or on the sensors. That will also cause the heater to trip. I've got another heater right here. You can see all this calcium buildup right here. That'll cause electrolysis across that heater. It'll cause it to trip. Same thing, you can see on the end of this one, it's doing it right here, as well as over here. Look down the tube. Yeah, it's, look at all that rust and all that crap on the end of that tube. All that is gonna cause problems and cause the breaker to trip. So these are just things that you look for in a hot tub. I got a couple more things that, let me get them and I'll be right back. This is, in my opinion, probably one of two of the biggest culprits in the spa industry for causing the breaker to trip. It's what they call an ozone generator, and it's an automatic water cleaner. What it does, it plugs in, okay? So you got this particular plug, it's got your three wires, it goes into a specific spot on your hot tub and plugs in, okay? So you go ahead and plug it back in just for fun, okay? What happens is, this is the culprit right there. See that little check valve? If you don't change that check valve every year, 
what happens is the check valve gets faulty. It allows the water to go backwards from the tub, through all the lines, all the way back to the ozone generator, and it causes this to fail. When this, causes, when this fails, this will cause your uh, breaker to trip. So a lot of times, you can go right to a hot tub. Without a doubt, I have to be honest, that's one of the first things I do disconnect before I go through all the rest, is I'll usually disconnect the ozone. I wanna say 50% of the time, that's what it is. The other 50% of the time, it's the heater. And, you know, occasionally it's, you know, it's the pumps and motors that are causing the problem. The light, very, very rare. Um, but I wanna say, you know, the ozone generator causes a lot of your problems with the tripping of the breaker. So, anyways, that's just a couple things you can do. Now, this is a Balboa and stuff. So this is the problems that I found with Balboa inside of a hot tub. Really good product, uh, easy to fix, doesn't cost a lot of money. Pretty much any homeowner can fix it and stuff like that. So, but I figured I would show you guys what is causing the problem. Well, I wasn't gonna include this one in this video, but I thought I would. Uh, as you see, it says no good. What this is, this operates your stereo within the hot tub because your stereo runs off uh, DC and this is an AC DC converter. So sometimes these will get wet and then they'll cause the breaker to trip also. That's one of the biggest reasons why I do not like stereos and hot tubs to be mixed in the same box. But this one, yeah, as you see, it says no good. Um, it kept tripping the breaker. We never even thought of it being the stereo. We played with that hot tub for probably a good two or three hours. And finally, my brother went and unplugged the AC-DC converter and the hot tub quit tripping the breaker. And we ended up pulling it out and telling the homeowner that don't put this back in. So anyways, this is just one more thing that you unplug it. Flip, flip on your breaker and see if it starts working again. Well, I hope that video helped you guys out. I hope it was informative and educational and maybe even a little entertaining. It's not that hard to diagnose what's going on with a hot tub. I did this one, this was a Balboa system. Uh, next time I'll do a jacuzzi system. Uh, I'll even do a gecko system after a while. But they all, I do them all the same. I take it off from left to right, and then I start putting things back in. I always start with pump one, then I go to pump two. Uh, just the way I've been doing it. Uh, usually, like I said, it's gonna be the ozone, it's gonna be the heater, very rarely is the pumps. We did have one in the last couple weeks that it was the pump. I would have never guessed that. Um, but you, j you never know what it's gonna be, but that's how you do it. You just unplug something, flip back on the breaker, and see what happens. So I appreciate all the support with our channel. If you could, if you haven't, please hit the, on the right side of your page, hit subscribe, hit the little bell every time I produce a video. It'll come up in your feed, your news feed. And with that, I'll see you guys on the next Hot Tub Repair. Have a great day, everybody.